Report the Ancudo approach road. Eagle we'll 7, just get out here. we're arriving on the target coordinates. There they are. Just the last chopper in the area. Come on, boys, pick us up. The storm is getting freaking massive. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, shit! Damn, he pulled a gun on me. To pit. Oh crap. Oh jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Uh thank you, bulletproof windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just off your 20. Welcome to my golden caves and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. This episode is subscriber request by Boogie Monster Wyatt, and he wants us to do a martial law video as we play as the military. So that's what we got going on right now. Basically, there's a huge blackout that's going across the entire county. So we got martial law in effect, and we got to go patrol the streets of Blaine County right now as the U.S. military. Again, martial law is when the military basically takes over law enforcement's duties and everything. And basically, there's a huge curfew, and everybody needs to stay indoors. And basically, martial law, when it's in effect, it's not good for the country. It is not good at all. So anyways, we need to actually get back inside the base here. And we're going to patrol around, go around to the other side of the base to get into Blaine County. Like I said, the blackout is due to a massive storm that's approaching. So we may need to do an evacuation notice as well. We'll see if it comes to that. At the moment, the storm is a little off, so it's not actually coming directly at us where we'll need to evacuate. But if it changes course, we may need to evacuate Lake County. Uh, anyways, let's head over this way and see what the day brings. I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. Seriously, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that like button. That really does help me out when you do that. Uh, okay, come on, open the door. Okay, just smash through the gate. It's no big deal. Uh, let's see. Whoa! Yikes. Okay, apparently we got jets in the air as well because, you know, martial law and all that. I was not expecting to see Attention that. Attention all units. Active we have a suspect down the run in, in uh, San Andreas. Copy that, dispatch. Uh, looks like we have an active warrant for Justin Blake. It looks like he was not complying with the martial law. And, uh, the, uh, I can't talk right now. The, uh, mandatory, the curfew, the curfew, that's the word I was looking for. Completely blanket right now. I've only had one can of Red Bull, I swear. Anyways, yikes, we are sliding all over the place. So, like I said, with martial law in effect, there should be nobody on the streets. Yikes, whoa, whoa, little slidey, little slidey. Oh! Holy crap, these tires just broke right over that. That was so lucky. You boys good back there? Whew. Let's go first person really quick to see. Just check how it is. Looks good. The gauges work. I do love that. Again, with this Hummer, I actually customized it where I'm actually able to give it sirens. So as you can see there, uh, it does have siren mastery on this vehicle. So it... We can actually use it as a police vehicle. I first edited this vehicle for one of my Patty Mayo videos, I believe it was, you know, the Bounty Hunter Bail Bonds episodes, which a lot of you guys don't really seem to like those. Anyways, we're about a half a mile from the location of uh, the lake, so we'll be arriving on scene, try to get this guy into custody. There we go, okay, we're arriving on scene now. Now, with how I have it set up, these call-outs may actually be glitching out. Let's see. Especially, we're on scene at the motel. Let's see. Yikes, we've got explosions in the background. Can I not open any of these doors? Dispatch, it's going to be a negative on Blake's. He's not here at this location. going to have to roll us another call. All right, boys, let's load up. That's a false alarm. Anyways, we are going to be moving more into Blaine County some more. Uh, keep going down this road. 
check everything out, make sure everybody is complying with the mandatory, uh, why can I not think today? The mandatory, I think I need some more water. I think that's the problem. I'm not drinking enough water. Uh, anyways, let's back out here and let's flip it down. Really slidey. Anyways, there we go. Let's get back on the road here. This storm is getting really bad. We have a Major suspicious person on well, San Jose International Empire Way. Way. Negative I'm dispatch. Uh, money truck is being robbed. Copy that dispatch. Uh, negative disregard. False alarm. Okay then, dispatch. You know what? Let's go check out the prison really quick. Make sure everybody's doing fine because with the blackout, you know, the, the power goes out and prisoners get out. That's not good. So let's pull up here. Let's see. Yikes. This storm is really bad. Okay, let's see. We've got a guard over here. Uh, it looks like everybody's good. We still have people controlling. So that's good. Uh, the prison should be on high alert because of the blackout. So we got guards up in the towers and everything. That looks good, actually. Okay, it looks like they're actually on point right now. Let's back up this way. We've got a 1099 in Grande Sonora Desert. Negative dispatch on that one. I really do hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. I'm enjoying it myself, honestly. It's a little different than what we normally do. I really do like to spice things up a little bit and change it up. So I really am enjoying this one. So thank you, Boogie Monster Wyatt, for this request. This was really... Very welcome, you know, different change of pace for once. Uh, Citizens report, all units respond. Copy that. Two of them are gang members for flee. They are ready for from police. Take these members. Copy that. So where are they? Let's see, we've got a bunch of guys over here. Alright, so we're going to need to get local SWAT team involved on this one. Down over this way, yikes. Coyote, watch out. Shoot, we missed it. Shots fired, do we have shots fired? Shoot. Uh, Damn it, take cover, boys, take cover. Get out, get out, get out. Open fire. Let's light them up, boys. Military police, drop the weapon. Nope, okay, move in. Open fire, take them down, boys, take them down. Love the stress. Shoot, we are all right, man. Where are they, where are they? Down on the ground, got him. He's down, he's down. Reload, reload. Uh, let's load up, boys. Come on, load up. Looks like they're trying to flee from us. Let's get additional units over here, dispatch. On uh, Joshua Road. We got somebody trying to flee. Back over this way. Yikes. A little slidey. Oh, just ran over a rock. We have two guys on the other side of these train tracks. Yikes. That was a close one. Could have just ran into that derelict train. Uh, we got somebody over here. We got somebody over there. Okay. Where you guys think you're going? Military police, I need you to stop running from us right now. Military police, stop running. You thought that would get away from us? Nope. Drove right over that. Okay, just gonna oh, tap him right there. Let's get. I do have a taser. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, switching sidearm. Shot him in the ass. Watch your hands, dude, down on the ground. Military police. Let's go, down on the ground, drop the weapon. Drop that weapon right now. Especially, let's get new searches around here. Down on the ground, buddy. Down on the ground! Shots fired, suspect is neutralized. Son of a bitch, he tried to run from me. He tried to shoot me. All right, dispatch, uh, we're gonna get after this last suspect. We got a news chopper inbound. That's good. Come on, boys, let's load up. Holy crap. Come on, boys, load up. Let's go. All right, let's get over this way. Oh, bumpy. This Hummer can take it, though. Yikes. Okay, come on. Where are they? Got a visual on the other suspect. Need you to stop running, dude. Drop the weapon. Screw it all. Get my sidearm. Watch through your hands, dude. Drop it. Drop the weapon right now or you will get shot. Let's go. Drop the weapon, buddy. Drop it. Let's go. Down on the ground. 
All right, face first down on the ground if you don't want to cooperate. Let's go down on the ground. Slowly place your hands behind your back for me. Thank you. All right, dispatch, we have James Monroe in custody. I'm gonna pat him down right now. Don't try to think stupid, man. I'm gonna search you now. Uh, nothing of interest. All right, let's get a transport unit down here for this guy, dispatch. That's at the end of the runway. On, uh, route 16. Uh, western end of the runway. Thank you, dispatch. Our right, boys, let's load back up. Oh man, this is a pretty crazy episode so far. All units, we have uh, enforcement on mandatory evacuation. Copy that, dispatch. It looks like the storm is getting worse. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, we got to go two and a quarter miles. Copy that. Okay, so the other officer is picking that guy up. We're gonna get over there. Oh man, this is not looking good. It is looking really worse. Holy crap! Okay, uh, so it looks like we're going up into Grapeseed. Yikes, 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 yikes. Ooh, ooh. Summer's a solid vehicle, we're good. Oh, don't want to run into that, though. Oh, we just hit a Joshua tree. That sucks. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, dispatch, we are about a mile and a half from Grapeseed. Gonna be arriving on scene shortly. Uh, give us about two, three minutes or so. Yikes, the roads are getting really slippery. Some kind of like oil or something in the water supply. That's not good. This is a really bad storm. The roads are super slippery. Actually, you know, it could just because we have mud terrain that's on our truck right now. That would that would make sense. Alright, so we're about a mile from the location now. As you can see, there's nobody on the streets right now. Come on, keep her steady, keep her steady. Oh boy. Man, those waters look really choppy. Oh man. Let's keep on moving. Man, that is a really nice looking screenshot though. Damn. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh, looks like we got a boat dock there too. Dispatch, we're just about a half a mile from the location. We will begin our mandatory evacuation notice. Oh, oh shit! Oh, are you guys all right? Oh, that's not good. Kind of just crashed the Hummer dispatch. That's not good. We're gonna have to get out here. Son of a bitch. That was really slippery. We're gonna have to huff it on foot, boys. Come on, let's go. Unless, actually, do we have a vehicle here? Let's see if we got a vehicle. Uh, anything we can commandeer? Let's get my rifle out just in case. Ooh, what is that? Ah, uh, boys, looks like we're clearing here. All right, let's get it. This I don't know what vehicle this is. I'm sure they just added it to Grand Theft Auto within one of the last updates. Damn, that's really sick. All right, let's get inside, boys. Got a vehicle, commandeering it. Official military use, we're, we're allowed to do this, right? It's under martial law. Whatever we say goes. Anyways, looks like we're not too far from the location. Damn, this thing is freaking badass off-road. This is like the Tesla truck, kind of. I mean, not, not really, but... Oh! Oh! Ah, nobody saw that. Go we're, good. we're good, we're good, we're good. Nobody saw that, we're good. Attention all units, officers are at the scene. Copy that, dispatch. We are on scene. Uh, we'll just start at the first house over here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a vehicle in the driveway, so hopefully everybody is left. Let's get my rifle out just to be sure we're safe. Get up here and ring the doorbell. We gotta get out of here quick. Okay, it looks like there is somebody inside the house. All right, hello, sir. Let's speak with them. Good evening. Are you aware of the evacuation order that is in place? Thank you for coming along, but I'm not going anywhere. Sir, do you need assistance complying with the order? You don't take no for an answer, do you? I will detain you for your own safety if you don't cooperate. 
see you. I'm reporting your gross misconduct. Dude, I said get down on the ground right now. This is a mandatory evacuation. We are under martial law right now. This is the United States military. Do not move, dude. Do not move. You're under arrest, dumbass. All right, let's get this guy in cuffs. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. Now, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke or stick me? You're a good citizen. Okay, I'm going to search you now. Just relax. Uh, okay, it says we found nothing of interest down in. Uh, nothing of interest. Okay, Dennis Kruger. Uh, dispatch, let's get a transport unit down to Main Street. We have is, one suspect that was refusing to comply with the order. Alright, come on, boys, let's go. Uh, we'll leave the vehicle here, I suppose. We've got somebody else at this house. Looks like their trunk is open. U.S. military! This is the U.S. military. How's it going, man? Let's see. Let's question him. Uh, good evening. Are you aware that there's an evacuation order that is in place? Yes, I am. I'm gathering things I absolutely need right now. Okay, I need you to hurry up and move along. The storm is getting way too bad. Uh, there's just a few more things I really need to get. Okay, no more questions available. Let me ring the doorbell make sure there is nobody else here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anybody else in this house. We'll keep moving along then. Move on to the next house. Alright, looks like there's nobody in this house. We'll double check just to ring the doorbell. Let's see if anybody's home. U.S. military, come to the door. There's an evacuation. Let's go, come to the door. It's possible these residents have already evacuated. All right, looks like we're good then. I'm just gonna keep moving along because we don't have too much time. We got another guy over here. Looks like he's trying to get his car moved as well. Hello, sir, U.S. military. Are you aware there's an evacuation order in place? Yes, I am. I'm gathering my things that absolutely I need right now. Do you need any assistance? Uh, I need you to hurry up and move along. I suppose I can get by with the things I already have. All right, sir, take it easy, man. Be safe out there. Let's see, can I ring this doorbell? make sure there's nobody else inside shouldn't be because it's that this is the guy's house but I mean, you never know maybe the guy's a looter and he's stealing their car right now all right looks like we're good let's move on to the next one boys let's actually get our vehicle and okay so it looks like the transport unit's down here finally it's taking them a little longer to get here because the storm is so bad out appreciate it come on boys let's load up Let's check the interior of this thing. I would buy this in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think that'd be pretty sick. The uh, back window, that's actually kind of cool. A little useless, but I think this is supposed to be kind of like the Tesla Cybertruck. How the back window is like that and everything. It's all slanted like that. I uh, will pull up right here then. The U.S. military, come to the door. There's an evacuation in order. Is there anybody home? Okay, it looks like they have already left. Let's get on to the next one. This one might be the last one. I do not remember that being an arcade. That must have been updated with one of the Grand Theft Auto updates, because I know there's an arcade update with the casino heist. Pretty sure that building did not used to be there, or it was something different. Uh, looks like we got one house left. There is one car here. Uh, U.S. military, come to the door. There's an evacuation order. All right, here we go. We do have somebody here. Hello, sir. I need to ask you to leave the area immediately. An evacuation order is in place. Really? Oh, I wasn't told about that. Do you need any assistance complying with the order? Can you help me with the essentials to pack into my vehicle? Uh, you should only bring what is essential. Is there anything? Here? Okay, I can assist with that. All right. Uh, let's see. So I've actually not done it this way before. So that would be actually cool if I could actually help them. That is freaking awesome. Picking up the stuff, dropping it off in the car, it looks like. 
Okay, come on, pick it up. That is really freaking cool. I have not seen that before part of this. Let's go load it up. All right, team, just watch my back for me. I just feel like helping the guy out. What is that? Desert lot 739-384. I don't know what that crate is. All right, let's get that there. And do we seriously need to load this thing into his car? Uh, it's got a uh, skull and crossbones on it. This thing does not seem to be legal, but you know what? That's all right. All right, sir, let's get out of here now. The storm's getting really bad. All right, I believe we are code four on this, but we're going to flip around the block just to make sure we are clear. Come on, boys, load up. Come on, dude, let's go. We don't have time. This house? No, it's for sale. Okay, it looks like we're clear. Right, let's flip back around this way. Dispatch, we are code four on this one. Uh, we got six out of six visited. Excellent work. All right, we did it. Uh, so now we need to get back to the military base for evacuation because there is a monsoon on the way right now. Freaking tidal wave, so we need to get back there quick. All right, we're decided to go this direction. It's actually a quicker shot to the military base. We need to try to get back there so we can eat back, like I was saying a little bit ago. Uh, this thing is a freaking off-road beast. But holy crap, it is bumpy. Oh, oh boy, that was a close one. Come on, boys, come on. We got to get back to the base, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Come on, let's get it. Let's send it. We're going about 80 miles an hour off road right now. Flip it down this way, yikes. Oh boy, the water levels are rising quick. Come on, come on. Damn, this truck looks freaking sick. I'm not sure if it's uh, electric or not. It sounds, nope, that is definitely an exhaust. So it's definitely not a Tesla. Kind of, but the overall design, it never did. And it, it looks like one, but it doesn't look like one. Kind of looks like a Toyota FJ, actually, but a little less, uh, a little more trimmed down and everything. Anyways, we are about 2.5 miles from the base dispatch. We are trying to get there as quick as possible. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, we just ran over a deer. Oh, this thing is tough, though. Damn. Just took it like a champ. Come on, we're about two miles from the location. We come on. Oh boy, we're gonna be going down this way, guys. There's a river down there. That water's gonna be pretty freaking high. We can send it. Yikes! Uh, dispatch. By the way, we lost our Humvee on the way to the mandatory evacuation order. Uh, we managed to find another vehicle. I actually don't know what vehicle it is. Some kind of boxy off-road vehicle. It's color silver. So just to be on the lookout for us get near the base. Oh, uh, yikes, we want to keep going straight. Okay, there we go. Come on. Damn, I really hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe hit that like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And, you know, maybe hit your subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, we are trying to get to the base. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing so good right now. This truck is just planted to the ground pretty crazy actually how good it really is damn this thing probably costs like five million dollars in gta online right <laughs> uh, yeah their prices are so inflated in online and the problem is you can't even make that kind of money quick like it's hard to make money in grand theft auto online and yet the prices of everything are so expensive uh this is a little shortcut up here yeah, come on come on come on baby there we go Beautiful. Get up there. Okay, baby, come on. Drift it, drift it, drift it. Yikes. All right, we're making it back to the base. Beautiful. Dispatch, what do you mean the base is evacuating already? They're sending a U.S. Coast Guard chopper to us? What? But that's not going to... Okay, fine. I guess it'll work, but... Oh, 
shit! Oh. Come on, we're still good, we're still good. Okay, so apparently the base is evacuating, and they're gonna send us a US Coast Guard chopper to pick us up. I don't know why they had to literally ditch us we're right here. Uh, looks like we got one guy there. All right, so where do we need to go? This way. So the base is evacuating now. We need to get to the choppers. Come on, come on, come on. There's a truck. Looks like he's going to the helipad as well. All right, come on, come on. Let's go. Almost there. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Attention all units. Units requesting air support on um, that dispatch. Fort Vancudo Approach Road. Let's get out here. The here they are. This is the last chopper in the area. Come on, boys, pick us up. The storm is getting freaking massive. Oh, there it is. Yikes. They're a lot higher than I thought they were. Ugh. Oh, their altitude's 213. Okay, that makes sense. All right, boys, it's going to be one at a time. Just hang in there. Let me get in there first, and I'll help everybody get up. Uh, okay, me inside. There we go. Bring me up, boys. Bring me up. It's a little slower than I would like. It. This is pretty friggin' awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos do go up. All right, let's just get up in this chopper and let's get to safety. U.S. Coast Guard, boys. All right, guys, take it easy. Pretty cozy in here. Pretty cozy.